Here's the moment you've all been waiting for, Platinum Snow White Oscars. This is a special day. Something weird in this aquarium was going on. My lemon Oscar to spread their eggs on some. My Ocellaris Peacock Bass. My long fin Tiger Oscar. My red Oscar, Lutino Tiger Oscar. I've never bred Oscars. Boom! Oh my, come on! I know, hallelujah, I'm always. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be koi and goldfish ponds, saltwater, freshwater aquariums. We do local fish store tours, product reviews, and DIY projects in the hobby. So what we're gonna do is go in the house because that's where all the action's taking place. I got some news to share with you with Big, my long fin tiger Oscar, and my albino tiger Oscar, Lamont. Something's going on with them, and I can't wait to share this footage and news with you. But before we do, we're gonna go over the South American Aquarium. And um, I got some news from one of you, the Ohana out there, which helped me identify the two Oscars, Mary-Kate and Ashley, that I have. Uh, let's just go in the house and we'll talk about it. Come on, let's go. So this here is my South American Cichlid Aquarium. Every single fish in here is a South American Cichlid. Let's go ahead and start off over here. We have a gold spotted Severum right there. Look at that little beauty. He's still a little guy. He's got a lot growing to do. Uh, we have a turquoise Severum. Beautiful colors, right? Look at that. Ooh. I love the eyes, orange, like a turquoise colored face. This dude here in the background is gonna be a stunner. That's a red tiger severum. Beautiful, look, he's still little too and he's going to be an absolute stunner. I think he's kind of my favorite severum. You know, we have the red spotted severum, red bone. And then we have the gold severum right down here. So we have a total of five severums. And where is, there's JJ, my green terror. Another South American cichlid getting bigger and then we have mary kate and ashley are you mary kate and ashley oh wait or are you the ashley twin are you these two knuckleheads right here and you guys seen in uh, one of the previous videos that i shot what one of them did pretty much killed my lemon oscar that i have so these two babies here i wanted to show you guys some old footage of them when i first got them i got them from my boy Berto from florida they were sent to me as snow white platinum oscars they were literally like completely all white, not albino white, like seriously snow white. Let me show you some old footage of them. I hide there behind the statue. I put some food in there. You can see them right here. Look at them, a bunch of hogs, huh? These are the platinum snow white Oscars. I love these two. They're doing great though, guys. As you can see, nothing wrong with them. Look at them go back in the corner. They just filled their tummies and then they go running back, way back there in the corner. Yeah, that's their little hideaway there. But anyways, now you can see what they look like. Huge shout out to Mark Line 85 I really appreciate the comment, brother. So check it out. Uh, Mark's super familiar with this type of Oscar. He said it's called a Lutino Tiger Oscar. So he said there's no ejections, etc. Kind of made a little happy face there. But a Lutino is basically an albino, but it maintains the black pigment. Hence, it doesn't have bright red eyes. See, you can kind of see the eyes right there. And has some black on its body, which you can see obviously the black on its fins, its uh, dorsal fin, tail, anal fin, and pelvis fin. So these slowly morphed into a Lutino, which I'm really digging out on it because I really want to do, like I said in another video, an all Oscar aquarium. Probably have to get like a maybe a 190, 220 and just have really beautiful rare Oscars. I'm looking for a blueberry Oscar. Now, if you guys have never seen a blueberry Oscar, they're super rare, super hard to find, but I'm on a quest to find a blueberry Oscar. Here's a picture of one. Look at that. Imagine that swimming in this aquarium. Ooh wee, super cool, right? The blueberry Oscar. And then I'm also go gonna look for a bumblebee Oscar. And uh, I would love to get a wild caught Oscar, but those are kind of like the three main Oscars that are on the list right now. So as of right now, we have these two Lutino Oscars, Mary Kate and Ashley. 
And then we have Big, my long fin, Tiger Oscar. And we have Lamon, which is my albino Tiger Oscar. We have my Lemon Oscar, which I think I'm gonna call Yellow Man. You guys know about Yellow Man? Comment down below if you guys know Yellow Man. Just cool, just cool. It's not the right to call Yellow Man a fool. And then I have the Red Oscar that we picked up. So as of right now, just speaking right out the gates, we have six Oscars. And for those of you guys that don't know about Oscars, they grow extremely fast. So like I said, these are merely grow out aquariums, especially for eight Oscars. You know what I mean? Like we have these two, we have the two in the other aquarium and two in the other. So though that would be six. And then I want two more, which would be the bumblebee and the blueberry. And you know, like I said, maybe a wild caught Oscar. That would be really cool. That would be a max of nine Oscars in a 180 or a 220. That would just be so sick. And they're all different ones and kind of rare Oscars that you normally don't see. And when I mentioned doing an all Oscar aquarium, uh, I got major positive feedback by the Ohana. You guys absolutely love that idea. So you guys are actually inspiring me to create that aquarium. I just wanted to touch base on the Lutino Oscars. So we finally found what species these are. Like I said, big shout out to Mark Line 85. I really appreciate it, brother. A member of the Ohana. So since I was talking about the Lemon Oscar, Yellow Man, and my Red Oscar that I recently got, let's just do a quick update, all right? For those of you that are new to the channel, I'll show you those two guys. Let's go. All right, my Ohana. So here is my Lemon Oscar, Yellow Man. He's looking good. And right next to him is Red Man. I think I'm going to call him Red Man. To an off street and off block to turn around and do the same damn thing to a solo. Punch Reggie Noble's piss. Why not, huh? My Red Oscar. They're both tiny Oscars doing great, though, in this aquarium. Uh, you can still, if you look good, you can still see the deformity in Yellow Man's mouth. It kind of droops to his left, our right. But he. You know, eats like a horse and whistles like a bird. Matter of fact, let's put some food in here and feed him. I usually give him a pinch of Vibra Bites. It's a food made by Hikari, and these guys absolutely love it. Look at, they already know. This is for you guys. All right, let's give him a pinch. All right, there it goes. Look at them all go nutso. Look at, look at, look at, look at his mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Doing work. They absolutely love this food, as you can see my lemon oscar in the background oh look who came out blue face blue face baby yeah, my electric blue jack dempsey isn't he a beaut huh red man going crazy yellow man and red man also got to give a big shout out to Higer for this beautiful full spectrum aquarium light just brings out the colors in these fish huh and if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, go check out the video on this aquarium light. Hey, get 20% off too. Use promo code OHANA. I'll have the link down in the description below of this video. I'm telling you guys, 20% off on anything. Higer. All right, my Ohana, so here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Over my shoulder here, ooh, by the way, look at the Higer light just blazing in that aquarium, making these fish look so beautiful. I'm telling you guys, pick yourself up a full spectrum LED aquarium light from Higer. You won't be disappointed. So over my shoulder here, we have Big Black, my big long fin tiger Oscar. Right there in the middle is Lamon, my albino tiger Oscar, who once was a lemon Oscar, but transformed obviously into an albino tiger Oscar. And then above there is Zeus, my Ocellaris peacock bass. They've been living in this tank for some time now. They all are doing great. They love each other to death. Now, I mentioned it in a video, probably about three or four videos ago, that something weird in this aquarium was going on. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some footage and you guys tell me, Ohana at home, what you think, all right? Cue it up. All right, Ohana, I wanna show you guys this weird behavior that I'm watching my Oscars go through. You can see Lamon, my albino tiger Oscar, scooping up all this sand and moving it constantly. And they're going through that little like cichlid twitch. So you can see him digging up the sand and he's spitting it and he's cleaning this area. The same as Big, look at Big, my long fin tiger Oscar, albino tiger Oscar. Look at the twitching, the twitching movement, which cichlids do. And they also knocked down this big rock. And I know they love to spread their eggs on some flat surface. So it just kind of struck me odd that this rock fell over and it's 
on that nice flat surface, but they're also cleaning this area, making somewhat of a bed. You can kind of see how much sand they moved, right? You see it? They're constantly working in this area. And you can see all these rocks. You see these rocks here? Yeah, these black stones, they were like scattered over here in this area. So for them to pick up those rocks and physically move them over here, and I can hear them at night. I hear the rocks clicking against the glass and I'm like, what the heck's going on? And then I see these guys actually building like a nest. I have a feeling, Ohana, that we're gonna have some Oscar eggs in here. And it's gonna get extremely aggressive in here because we got my Ocellaris Peacock Bass who's just keeping out of the way. You know, he doesn't like bug these two guys. But you know, when you have two fish that may be potentially mating, things can get a little weird. So it's gonna be interesting to sit here and watch these guys uh, throughout you know, the week or so. But Lamon, the albino Oscar is constantly cleaning this area. So I don't know who the male is. I don't know who the female is. I'm looking to see if I see any egg tube you know, dropping. I don't see one on Lamon. All those, those pelvic fins are kind of in the way. And then you can see them both twitching at each other. And I'm trying to look, you can see somewhat of a tube there on Big. You know, I'm not sure if Big, my long fin tiger Oscar is a female. And I've always had that feeling. I don't know why. When I actually introduced um, Lamon, my albino Oscar to Big, look at them twitching. I, th I think they're gonna have eggs here soon. I think they're gonna put eggs on this uh, rock because they knocked it over. This is a big rock and it's a real rock. They've never knocked over rocks. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on these two. It's kind of exciting, but I'm also nervous too as well because you got, you know, this guy right here, Big Zeus, my Ocellaris Peacock Bass, and you see? That clicking noise that you just heard? I hope you guys heard it on camera. That's them moving the rocks all the time, but we're gonna see. I'm not sure, look at it, I don't see a tube there. Or well, you can kind of see a tube. See it right there on Big, the long fin tiger Oscar? That could be a possible egg tube. I don't see anything here under Lamont's Le belly. I'm trying to look, you know, like I said, those pelvic fins are kind of in the way. Um, but all my Oscar people out there, please let me know, are these two guys going through a mating ritual? Are they getting ready? Are they building a nest to have eggs? This is going to be huge if these two guys have a spawn. <laughs> That's just crazy. I honestly don't think it's gonna last because I would have to separate my Ocellaris Peacock Bass, I would have to separate him from the aquarium because things would get super ugly in here. So I don't know, maybe I just let it happen naturally. I'd, I gotta seriously watch this aquarium super close. Um, you can see Big is over here. And I don't see them, well, I do occasionally see Big scare Zeus away, but as you can see, the, interact the interaction of them is Ooh, I don't know, that was weird. That was the first time I've ever seen Lamont get somewhat physical with Big. Look at this behavior. I, I'm, I honestly, just my gut feeling and just experience, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be mating. I just have it, I just have that feeling, look at them. And this is kind of the norm too, when it comes to cichlids, male and female mating they do these love bites i've never bred oscars before so all my oscar breeders out there please comment down below let me know what your take what do you think just by the way they're acting i'm glad i got this on film this guy here i've never seen him like get physical with big ever he was always so much smaller than uh big my long fin tiger oscar look at him digging up sand all right, Ohana, let me know, please, all right? I'm counting on you guys. Tell me what's going on. We already know what's going on with this guy. He's in a league by himself. There's that twitch. There's that cichlid twitch. A clear sign that they're ready to mate, I think. So here they are, Ohana. Yeah, they are uh, waiting for some food. They're pretty hungry. Hey, why don't I, I haven't fed these guys on camera in a long time. Let's check them out, all right? Watch Zeus. It is crazy how this guy smashes the food. This is their favorite right here, Massivore Delight by Hikari. They love this food. Let me go ahead and give them a big handful. I just fed them yesterday. I normally don't feed them back-to-back -back days, but this is a special day. We're celebrating, uh, 
him and her or her and him mr and mrs maybe maybe we're not sure yet so here we go there's a little hole right here that i dropped my food Ooh, i better watch my finger did you see zeus he almost look at him oh jesus oh my gosh all right i can't tease him i'm gonna drop this watch this dude attack boom oh my come on man you're making a mess crying out loud my goodness there you go oh 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 big oh oh look at him scoop it up look at him scoop it up lamon got some big they're swimming around there's a couple down over here this dude will just shove everything in his mouth look at there's a couple pellets up here because he smashed it watch him watch him i'll drop this one in here watch him goodness gracious watch your finger boom that's zeus that's my baby boy and then you can see lamon in the background just beautiful look at him my long fin tiger oscar that i rescued zeus this guy here you guys will feel sorry for him uh he was in oh ooh, look at look at look at look at look at who said that uh oh he's gonna get that one there Oh, there's one right there. You see it right there on that piece of uh, driftwood right there? Ooh, who's going to get that one? I think Big's going to get it. I think Big's going to get it. Anyways, like I was saying, I rescued this guy. Somebody had this big Oscar in a 20-gallon tank. He could not even turn around in the aquarium. It was so sad, my Ohana. But your boy went in, rescued him, and look at him now. He's just loving and living life to the fullest in this aquarium. And uh, yeah, with maybe his, oh, 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 Zeus is the one who got it. Who said that Ocelaris peacock bass aren't bottom feeders? Not this guy, but check this out. Water all over the floor. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks, Zeus. Yeah, you're the best. Water all over the glass of the aquarium. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and uh, replace my lid over the top of my feeding hole, and I'll get a towel and wipe this mess up. All right, my Ohana, so down below in the comments, please let me know, what do you think these Oscars are doing? Are they getting ready to breed? I mean, the characteristics, they dug a bed, uh, they're clearing and fanning that little area there, they knocked down that big stone, and it's like the perfect breeding stone to have eggs on. They moved all the smaller rocks into one pile, which is super weird. I know Oscars love to dig in the sand, and you can't have live plants with them because they're always moving the substrate, but they never do this. It's the first time they've ever done it, and they're kind of acting weird towards each other. That whole shimmy, that cichlid shimmy that I love to call, which is a big breeding characteristic that they do. So uh, tell me down in the comments, guys, what do you think these guys are doing? We, of course, we already know what he's doing. He's just like Jaws patrolling the area. But these two right here, hmm, it's going to be very interesting, very interesting. Other than that, my Ohana, if you haven't hit that like button right now, why don't you do me a favor? Hit that like button. And then on top of that, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell. It's going to notify you when I upload a new video. And that is it. It's absolutely free. Love you guys. I will talk to you and see you real soon on the next video. Much love and aloha.